In this movie, we continue to look at our basic operations for character formatting. Specifically, in this movie, we will learn about our style property. Now, the style property essentially determines if something is italicized or something similar to that. Now, by that, I mean that we have some very specific options when it comes to our style property. So here, we see the generic syntax for this, where we're applying our font-style to a specific tag, and we have three different options. We have normal, italic, and oblique. What normal will do is remove any inherited style from a parent. So if the body tag ended up having a font-style of italic, and we set up our h2 with normal as that value, it will clear out that italic and make it show up as a default font. Now this is actually the behavior for any property that has the normal option. It just clears out any inherited values for that particular property. Now the next two, the italic and the oblique, are going to do somewhat similar things but in different ways. Now primarily they are going to be used to specify whether or not we're using a specific version of a defined font. Both the italic and the oblique versions of a font are going to provide some slanted text. The difference is that those italic fonts tend to have a little extra flourishes added in so that our font looks completely different. The obliques, on the other hand, are just going to be slanted versions of our normal fonts. So we can either clear style information, we can tell the browser to use an italic version of a font, or an oblique version of a font. Now the key to understand all of that is to understand that our fonts actually have a variant of that font called either italic or oblique. So when we use this font-style, we're actually telling the browser to tell the operating system to use a specific font to render this text. So if I use this CSS property to style some Verdana text, the font that would actually be used is Verdana italic. So behind the scenes, CSS is really specifying what font to use, not necessarily what style to apply to the text. So by using italic as the property value, CSS is saying to use the italic version of the inherited font, while oblique says to use the oblique version. Now of course, to use either one of those values, that version of the inherited font must exist on the end user's operating system. So if we specify italic, then we need to have an italic font on that end user system. However, if an italic font is not available, the specification will actually force the use of an oblique. However, it will not force an italic if an oblique is not available. So in essence, when in doubt, use italic. Now I know that that's a lot of information about how CSS is working here, but in essence what it's saying is, is that when we specify our font style, we are telling the browser to use a specific variant of our inherited font. So when we're setting up our font families and we intend to use an italic or an oblique, we need to take that into consideration because the effect that we get with our font style may not actually be the effect that we want. So let's go ahead here and check out how to set this up for our particular project. So I'm just going to jump over here to our main.css and I'm going to go up to my header area here. Now for our project, I'm also going to group things together so it will be easier to find them. And I'll set up the declaration here for font style. And I'll use italic. So I'll save and jump back over here and I'll refresh. And here we see open sparks is now italicized. So that's a real quick look about how to utilize our font style on our text.